Welcome back. We are now logged in as a teacher. And as we see, Feedback Cruise is integrated within the iframe, as always, full screen mode. First thing we can see is the progress of each group. So how are they in terms of giving and receiving feedback? We can get a breakdown per student. So you have all these analytics, which we can download into a CSV format. This is all below, and I'll show you shortly. This is the instructions we had set up. And here is the giving the statistics on the reviews that were given. And I can open up this heat map, we call it, off the rubrics in terms of the received reviews, meaning out of all the students that have received reviews, where do they lie uh, in terms of how well they're doing? I can see there's a concentration of students here in preparedness. So it's a good characteristic, right? It's quite good. Um, but students are not doing so well, perhaps on responsibility. So it gives really the instructor in, I suppose, a, a, um, a bit of an understanding of what students are struggling with and what they're doing well at. So the, the more blue it is, the deeper the, the concentration of students are. At which point, this is the statistics on the received reviews. Again, more analytics, all of it downloadable. And I can actually also download the reflections and or even get an overview and see all the feedback they've received. Now, here's the group contribution grading. In a nutshell, group contribution factor is how well you did relative to your peers in the group. Self to peer assessment ratios, how well you self assess yourself relative to how others assessed you. Those two factors, algorithm figures it out gives you a suggested adjustment to individualize the group project grade that you input. So uh, once you're happy with that, you can publish the grades, which will synchronize into the D2L gradebook and students will then see it. Now in the edit mode, very quickly, what we can see is how we configure the, uh, the groups. We can also change it from a rubric, right, to a scale rating or a common criteria, depending on how you'd like them to, uh, how you'd like to build that set at which point we can have the allocations to be automatic or we can manually allocate them. And then we can choose how many students to review. We can have the self-assessment, review anonymity, all can be, um, you know, uh, can be done or toggled off and then detect outliers. So students that have been doing, so students that are of interest, maybe receiving really low grades, they'll be uh, prompt, like they'll be, you'll be notified on these outliers. People who've Kind of who, who kind of stick out we're a little bit anomalies in the in terms of uh, how the team rating is and then the received reviews we can have students rate the reviewer on a scale of one to ten and that really helps students understand you know how well am i giving feedback teaches students those real world skills of giving and receiving feedback because they can actually clarify you know what do you mean when you say i you know how could i improve the way i give feedback and that's what this part here is for and then we can have a deadline on the reflection and then the group contribution grading, which is the uh, factor that we had seen before, the one that's between zero and two. If it's above one, they've done better relative to the group. If it's done under one, if, if they get a, a factor under number one, they've done worse relative to the group and their project grade will be individualized. So that was it really from a, for the group member evaluation. Just understand that it's a streamlined way for students to get an individualized project grade to disincentivize free writing and to reward over achievers. So thank you for watching.